Hey, it's Summer. Welcome back to my channel. I recently turned 18. My birthday's at the end of June. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the presents that I got for my birthday. I got some makeup and I got some clothes. And I got a couple other things too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do. So I got a few clothes. Um, one of the things I got is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's great. It has a few different colored hearts on it. And they have like smiley faces on it. So this is really cute. And I also got a dress this one right here I asked my mom for this and she got it for me this is this really cute gray dress and this right here it's from I got it, my mom got it off of Amazon it's from the brand Laxme Laxme and um, I picked it out they have a bunch of other colors and it's just really pretty it's kind of a stretch dress stretch dress it's just like it stretches and it's got like this crossed like in the front where the fabric like crosses over each other in the front right here and then it's just got like a flared skirt and it goes like right below my knees and I also got this black skirt this is one of my favorite presents and I actually love this skirt I've been needing like just like a simple black skirt for a long time so it's just like it fits it's like a kind of like a stretchy material but it's more heavy and it zips up it has a hidden zipper in the back and sorry about the hanger and um, it stretches, it goes like right below my knee and it's just so cute. So I also got a couple of products for myself for my birthday. I got two things from NYX I bought myself and I bought this NYX Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Effervescent and I also got the Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Soft Pink. And the other thing I bought for myself, I bought this after my birthday, only, only actually just got it in the mail yesterday, but I got this camera. I've been wanting these cameras for a long time, so I finally just got it. And this is the Instax Mini Camera from uh, Mini Eight Camera from Fujifilm. And I've seen like decorating ideas, and where you take um, like these little instant pictures, and you like cl um, use them to decorate like your walls and stuff. And that's what I'm gonna do with my background here. I think is I'm going to like kind of redecorate this, and I'm going to like paint my room in a couple months and change the walls to white. And I'm going to redecorate it and everything. And I'm going to like put up some little pictures. I think it's going to be look really cute. And I've been really wanting to redecorate my room for a while. I think it's really cute. And I've been wanting it for a long time. So I'm glad that I got it. I've got some makeup and like some storage stuff. I'm going to show you last. But the next couple of things I'm going to show you is I got this DVD. This is Sherlock. Um, season 2. This is my favorite TV show. It's so good. Me and my older sister love watching this. And we already had season 1 and season 4 on DVD. And I also got kind of in the same theme as that from my sister. She got me this cup right here. I'm not sure if you can see it and ignore the lipstick. But it says Moriarty. That's what people brew. It's a play on a quote from the show Sherlock if you haven't seen it yet. It's like a ceramic and um and then the lid is just this rubbery one it's for like tea i'd assume because of the more tea but i just put water in here because i really don't drink tea i got like three different storage organizers these little acrylic organizers and i also got some of the makeup that i actually put in the organizers and so i'm going to show you like each of the organizer and then what i have in it because i can't hold like all of them up at once this one right here is one of them and this one is so cute i picked this out and my mom got it for me and it's so cute it has the so it has three little drawers right here to put your stuff in and then it has this where you pick up this lid and it has two separate compartments for your brushes and then you put these and they have the little beads that come with them that you put in them and i think you could pick what color be. i think there was pink or white and so i picked pink because it i love pink i'm putting ow, whoa, ow, blah, blah, blah. and so in here, the only thing I actually got for my birthday that I put in here is this set of brushes right here. I'm going to take them out and show you. So this is a set of like toothbrush style face brushes that like became popular when the Artiste brushes, everybody started using the Artiste brushes. But since they're so expensive, everybody's always looking for dupes. I found some on Amazon and I just asked for these for my birthday and these are from the brand Beauty Kate. I'll put the link down below. I have nine of them right here. I'm not sure exactly how many came in the set. There might be another one over there that I left on my desk. So there might have been ten in the set. So far, I like these. They are very, very dense, but still really soft. I have a hard time using them with powders, like for my actual face, because I don't like using 
too dense brushes for powders because they're hard to put on my face without messing up my foundation. But I used, sometimes I'll use this one to put my foundation on the biggest one, which I think is supposed to be a powder brush because it's a little bit less dense than the other ones. But I use it to help me blend out my foundation. I always go over my foundation with a sponge afterwards, even if I do use a brush, just so you're of any streaks that are there. But I love using brushes to help me like blend out and then I just go over it with a sponge to make sure there are no streaks. And then there are a couple of these small ones like you could use for eyeshadow. And there's some like skinnier ones you could do for liner or brows. And then like some smaller ones that you can use for concealer or highlight. And they were very affordable, it was like $12 I think for this whole set. And with the set of brushes, you got this little sponge, not sponge, what am I talking about? You got this little brush egg that helps you clean your brushes so you would just um, wet your brushes and put some soap on them and then scrub the brush up and down against this and this helped you um, to wash them and I actually used this once already because I washed all these brushes. So far I haven't had any problems with them shedding. I think like one or two little pieces of fur has come off um, from the entire set and so far I really am enjoying these brushes a lot. Oh, this is another one of the organizers. This is just a piece of it. There's actually three of these little pieces, but they're exactly the same. So I'm just going to show you this one. And they stack up on top of each other. And they have three drawers in them like this. And they're flat so that you can put your eyeshadow palettes in here or whatever. So in here, one of the palettes that I got, got this Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette from e.l.f. Um, the, I love this palette so far. I've used it like three or four times so far and it's just beautiful. The colors blend so nice and it's so, so, they're so easy to blend. It's actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes right now. There are, is a mixture of like matte and more shimmery ones. There are three mattes in here and it looks like there's like one, there's like a couple satins and a couple and a few shimmers and then one, this one on the very end is kind of like a glittery one. It's kind of like a shimmer that they put glitter into. I don't know, but I really like this palette a lot. So another thing that I got is this little eyeshadow from e.l.f. in this shade Pixie. This is one of their baked shadows and this is really pretty. It's like pinkish. This is a really pretty shadow. And I also got this Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. I love this stuff so far. This is in the shade Rose Gold. And I'm going to see if e.l.f. has other shades. I actually haven't looked yet because I always forget. It's just like a liquid eyeshadow. I actually have that on the center of my lids. And I just kind of blended it out into the rest of my eyeshadows. And I think this looks really, really pretty. I'm actually looking at the other two um, of these things that are stacked up below the one I just showed you and they're actually not the same. They have different just size drawers. drawers. This one had just a big drawer right here and then three of these smaller drawers. And so another stuff that I got is are a couple of these little molds. These are like silicone molds for polymer clay is what I use them for. And I'll put the link to this stuff in the description box. But I like to make some polymer clay stuff with my sister and I love using like molds. These are like little flowers and so I like doing that. And I also got this. This is like one of my favorite products I got for my birthday. This is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Tea Rose. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now um, over another blush. And I think it's so, so pretty. And it looks just beautiful because it's just like a rose on there. I actually dropped it like a few days after I got it and, and just broke the little clasp with the little plastic thing right here broke. So it doesn't like click close. It's like my current favorite blush and I've been using it all the time. I also got this blush from e.l.f. which I actually haven't tried yet on my face yet. This is in the shade Twinkle Pink and it's just a really pretty like um, pink. It's got, it's pretty reflective and I don't think my camera has much battery left so I'm going to try to go over the rest of it. this stuff pretty quick. I got these e.l.f. makeup wipes for my mom. I use them at night when I take off my makeup. And they work really good. And I love how the um, how the thing opens and closes to keep them sealed up so they don't dry out. I got this Total Face Palette from e.l.f. It's, and inside I actually haven't tried any of these on my face either. But there is a 
bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. Okay, now this is part of another organizer that I have sitting right there. And this is just the top part of it though. So this is the top that has little compartments for all of your lip stuff. I'll go through a few of the lip products that I got really quick. On my lips right now that I'm wearing is this soft matte lip cream from NYX in the shade Istanbul. And it looks darker. It actually is darker than it looks in the, um, we can just look at the container, but it's still a really pretty pink color and I'm really glad that I got it. I also got this e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Natural. It's a nude lip gloss. I got this lipstick from e.l.f. This is the um, Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Pink. It's just kind of a pinky nude lipstick and it's really creamy. Okay, this is the last organizer that, and it doesn't come in pieces. It's just tall like this and it just has drawers just like the other ones do. So in these are a few of the things that I got. I got this LA Girl um, Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade White. It's just a lightener, so in case your foundation are too dark, you can just mix it in to lighten them. I also got this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm wearing it today under my foundation, and so far I really like it. After my birthday, I got it, I wore it, and I wore it for an entire day with the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation that I haven't worn in like months. Cause I bought the Milani one in the winter time and I was I didn't have any of the tan so I was too light for it. So I just set it to the side. I used it a couple times. It was too dark for me. I set it to the side. I haven't used it since. And then when I got the um, white foundation so I can mix into the Milani one. Then when I pulled the Milani one back out and swatched it on my fingers I realized that I actually was not too light for it anymore because I had a tan now because it's summertime. So the other day I just I wore the Milani one all day with this primer and I found that it kind of broke up pretty quick. It got all kind of patchy around my mouth and my nose for some reason. I don't remember if it had done that the other times I wore it or it might just be this primer. I'm not sure. But I'm wearing this primer right now with a different foundation and so far I really like how it looks. It's um, made my face look really smooth and the foundation went on just fine. And I also got this pack of Real Techniques Miracle um, Complexion Sponges because these things are amazing and I use them all, every time I put my makeup on. I have one other product I want to show you. I think it's in a different room so I'll have to go grab it in just a second. But first I want to show you this. So this right here is three, well, all three of these products are together. They came in together. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Regimen Set. And it's like, has like tomato and um, extracts in it. It's supposed to help clear up your skin. There's a scrub, a daily scrub. And then there's a daily repair treatment. And then just a daily moisturizer. But I've been using this since I got it. Every, every day, every night, I will um, wash my face with this. And then I will put the daily repair treatment on my skin and then I will do the moisturizer after this I had time to soak in. In the morning I wash my face with just a different soap that I have in my bathroom. So far I've been loving this a lot. It has like tea tree oil in it. I think. I thought it had tea tree oil and I guess it doesn't. It has like witch hazel and lavender oil. Lavender. It has like witch hazel and lavender oil. It is cruelty free as is all the makeup that I showed you because it's all I use. It's all I asked for. And I've really been loving using these products. This is the last product. This is from Too Faced. And it's their new Love Light Prismatic Highlighters. This is in the lightest shade which is blinded by the light. And it's so, so pretty. It's in a heart shape with like diamond cuts out of it sort of. And there are two other shades. There's like a pink one and a more golden one. And when I went into Ulta after they released these and I swatched all three of them, I was wondering which one to get because I first saw it and I knew I had to have it. And so I was wondering which one to get. And I, when I swatched them, this one was like the most pigmented and like reflective of all three of them. It was this lightest shade so I decided to get this one. And let me see, I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand. So I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different highlighter. I'm wearing I'm wearing a highlighter from e.l.f. that I also have. But this stuff is so pretty and I'm so glad that I got it. And that's the last part that I wanted to show you for my 18th birthday haul. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked it. If you want to see more haul videos, comment down below and I'll make sure to um, record more of those. And I really hope you enjoy watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!